Hi everyone and welcome back to Tea Time Diaries. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you part two of my tea nook and wall display video. So in the first video, I was able to uh, mount the shelves and put up my teacups. I was also able to um, refurbish this chair that I have purchased on Facebook Marketplace. If you missed that video, I'll be sure to um, put a card somewhere on the screen so you can tap that and watch that video and then come back and watch this second part. So um, in today's video, I'm going to be just putting the final touches. I'm going to show you what's what I've done so far and what's left to do. So let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, guys. So uh, first of all, I apologize if you hear any noise in the background. Um, it is the weekend and people are outside cleaning and doing all different sorts of things. And so that equals loud music. That's just the norm. If you know, you know. Um, in any case, so um, this is the tea cart that I purchased on Facebook Marketplace. It's not in the best shape. As you guys can see, it's um, missing one of these little gold and, um, knobs on here. So my plan is to just, um, if you notice, there's one of these and then one on the bottom. So I'm probably just going to remove the whole thing on the bottom and fill the holes up with like um, like a wood putty to kind of close up the wood. And once I sand it down, you won't even notice that there used to be one of those um, on the corner there. And then I'll just use, um, you know, the one of the attachments from there um, to fill it in and put it up here because I think for me anyway, it would be better if I had the two um, wooden sticks here so that it looks cohesive and I wouldn't mind it too much if that one on the bottom was missing. I wouldn't, it really wouldn't bother me too much in terms of like how it looks visually. Um, so that's how I plan on fixing that. And then of course, I'm not going to keep this cherry wood color. Um, it's a very nice color, but it's not really something that I prefer. I'm going to make it, I'm going to spray paint it into a white color. That way it looks more neutral and kind of fits in better with um, the way that I have my room decorated. So that's what I plan on doing. I'm going to still keep all of this in its original gold color. Um, I'm just going to spray paint this and then of course, like I said, fix uh, fix this right here and then just add the wood. I have the the wooden pieces here. I just took them off because it'll be better when I um, spray paint it. But essentially that's what it would look like once it's um, fixed and then there's one that goes on the opposite side as well. So um, yeah, that's how I plan on fixing this cart. I'm going to show you what it looks like once I'm done uh, fixing and spray painting. Now let's take a look at what I've done so far upstairs and what needs to get done still. Alright, so we're upstairs and what I've accomplished so far was basically just getting the covers for the electrical outlets. As you guys can see, I still have to paint the wall as well as the um, the baseboard here, uh, the base molding, I have to also uh, touch that up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now, but the wall display is still going strong, which is good. Nothing has fallen, no other casualties, which is awesome. Um, and the chair is doing good too, I just moved it out of the way since I'm going to be painting in this area. But this is what it looks like now and I'm gonna show you what it looks like once I'm all done. Alright guys, so it is the next day and I just kind of want to update you on what I've done so far. So I did the first coat um, with the chalk spray can. Um, however, that wasn't... I only had enough for one, one coat and it didn't really cover everything. I still have some spots that... Um, 
are brown. So I definitely have to buy at least two more cans to be on the safe side. Um, as you can see though, on the bottom, I did uh, fill in those holes with the wood putty and um, once that dries, I'm gonna sand it down and then I will just cover it up with the last um, coat. So that shouldn't be a problem. It should look good at the end of it all. And um, this is the wood glue that I'm using. Um, I haven't used it yet, but this is what I'm gonna use in order to get the um, those little golden dowels back onto the wood and then this is the wood plastic that I used um, to fill it in to fill in the holes just stuff that you can pick up at like you know any hardware store Lowe's Home Depot so yeah that's the progress so far and I will keep updating you um, as I finish all right guys so at last i am all done with this uh, little tea nook that i wanted to create and i absolutely love it um there are some few there are a few things that i haven't had the chance to do uh, for example if i move up a little closer you can see that there's still some of the scratches on the wall that I wasn't able to um, paint over it just yet and that's because I ran out of paint. I went to open the can and so I didn't actually run out of the paint, it's just that it kind of dried up so I had to get rid of it. Um, but I'm going to buy some paint soon and fix that. That's something really minor. Um, there isn't any molding on the bottom there and that's just because Again, the plan for the future is to build um, some drawers into these um, openings that we have. Uh, for now, we just have our things in there, um, but the plan is to like have like a built-in type of drawer, and then we can finish putting the base molding uh, in that one spot. But I do love the way that this whole setup turned out um, and let me show you the tea card i'm really excited about um, the way that it turned out so this is the view of it um, from this angle so i have this um, beautiful tea towel that i purchased at um, when i went to the mathis house in tom's river they had a gift shop and so i bought this really beautiful a tea towel from there as you can see it says Paris it says the tea or lete on the bottom and then you have the beautiful uh, tea cups so that's my little tea towel there that I have and then I ended up finishing the paint with just regular white chalk paint I'll show you guys what paint I started with and which paint I ended up using just because the spray paint it was I was already on my second bottle of it on my second can rather and it still wasn't covering the way that I needed it to so I ended up just going from using the spray can to just using regular chalk paint and again I'll show you which one I used in a minute um, I changed out the caster wheels um, for some golden ones so that it would look a little bit nicer than the black ones. It's not the exact same shade of gold, but it's not terribly noticeable. At least I don't think so. And then I ended up putting this beautiful um, vinyl applique over the... Um, over the the top of the card and um, it's really really nice I'll go ahead and move the stuff out of the way so you can see it without um, anything on top but I actually found that on Amazon and there were actually four different designs 
they were not all related to like afternoon tea but this one was the one that i wanted so i couldn't buy them separately i had to buy all four because they came in a pack so i have the other four um but i just think the the design is really beautiful and i ended up sealing it with like a clear coat um so that hopefully it won't lift or come off or get scratched so these are the things that i have on the tea cart i have this um electric kettle and i'm gonna just zoom in a little bit yeah that's better <laughs> so i have this electric uh, kettle that i purchased on amazon it's from top tier i've used it a couple times and it works really well in like about a minute the water is just extremely hot and it's perfect um, for herbal teas for making black teas because the temperature goes really really high um, of course, I just have a, a teacup displayed on the top here. And then I have a glass uh, filter, a uh, bottle filter, because of course you need filtered water uh, for the tea. And then if I do get thirsty, I can just have some water. Um, these little cupcakes I also found on Amazon. Obviously, they're not real. <laughs> they're made out of rubber, but they look really realistic, and I figured that it would give it a cute little touch um, to just have it displayed. And then on the bottom, I have some more teacups displayed. You'll notice that these are the teacups I purchased in a recent antique haul. And the teapot and the other two teacups that are there was actually given to me by my family um my cousin had a um i think it was a birthday party for her daughter and it was like an alice in wonderland theme they had a lot of teacups and teapots left over so she was gracious enough to give those to me and my plan for the um openings here for for those holes there um is to just buy some like mason jars um some small mason jars and just put them in there and I'm just gonna have my loose leaf tea um, in those uh, little spaces there. So that's my plan for that. I don't wanna fill the cart up with a bunch of stuff and kind of overwhelm it and have it look cluttery, but I think it looks good just the way that it is. And then of course here I have the chair still looking great from the last time and just kind of a close up to these little corner bookshelves. I also found these on Amazon and I'll be sure to link the shelves and anything that's linkable, I will link it. And so I just got these little corner shelves. Again, I have to paint the walls. <laughs> um, so you do kind of still see the scratches, unfortunately. Um, but that, again, like I said, is an easy fix for the near future. And I just put some books on the shelves. Um, on these two bottom shelves here, I have some books and then just some decorative um, teacups. I have my little miniature teapot and teacup down there. That one, the teacup in the middle, I also featured in a previous haul. And then on the top, I have another little miniature tea set. And that one I got from a trip to, I think it was either Charleston or savannah i'm not sure but it was when i went on that trip a few uh, uh, a few years ago i purchased this and then i have um, this frame that i got at home goods and then i had a, a greeting card that i never used i like the design so i just popped it in there to continue on with the tea theme but yeah this is the way that it turned out i think it looks great i'm really happy with it and i hope that you guys like it as well so i'm going to go ahead and show you the paint that i use just in case you want to try to do the same thing uh, purchase a tea card um, on at an antique store thrift shop even facebook marketplace that's where i found mine and if you want to you know revamp it and uh, paint it i'll show you what paint i used Alright guys, so this is the paint that I started off using. It was this chalky finish uh, classic white color, but again, 
it wasn't enough. Um, I, I went through two cans and the coverage still wasn't good. So I ended up just going for this um, chalked uh, ultra matte paint in what, linen white. And I did purchase this off of Amazon so I can go ahead and link that as well. And then um, to finish everything off, I did use this chalky uh, clear finish. Um, I use this all, always whenever I'm using chalk paint, whether I'm using a can of paint or this kind of paint, I still always use this, um, especially if I'm using some type of like a vinyl sticker or something like that. I'll just use that to kind of finish it off and give it, um, I guess, a little bit of a glossy sheen. But um, these I purchased at Lowe's. You can find that at your local Lowe's. This though, I did purchase it on Amazon, so I will be sure to link it below. All right guys, that is everything for today's video. I just have um, a couple of images here of how everything turned out. I also have a picture of what the tea cart looks like without anything on top of it so you can see that um, that vinyl sticker a little bit better. Again, I'll be sure to link whatever as many products as I can. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment in the bottom. What do you think? How do you think it turned out? And of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love it when you guys show your support in that way. So until next time, have a terrific day. Bye.